Hello, hello friends and welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Erin from littleslovelearning.com and I am so glad you are here with me today. We are going to be reading books, singing songs, learning all about our letters and sounds, and we are going to have a great time doing it together. But before we get started, we are going to sing our hello song. If you don't know our hello song, that's okay. I have another video posted on this page where you can learn our hello song, all of the words and the signs, and then you can follow along during story time. For those of you who know the words and the signs, let's get started. Here we go. Hello friends, how are you? It's so nice to have you here with me today. Hello friends, how are you? I'm so glad you're here to learn and play. Nice job, friends. Great signs and great singing. Now, my name is Miss Erin, as I mentioned, and I'm here for story time, but I have another friend who always comes to story time with us who loves to sing and read and play with you. Do you remember his name? I'll give you a hint. It starts with the B sound. And in sign language, the B sound looks like this. It's the letter B, B. You remember? That's right. His name is Bailey. We're going to put this B right here on our heart and we're going to chant to call him out. You ready? Here we go. Bailey, Bailey, our day has begun. It's time to wake up and have some fun. Are you ready for Bailey to come out? There he is. Say hello to Bailey. Bailey, say hello to all of our friends. Bailey loves to come to story time and ask you a question of the day. Are you ready for it? All right, Bailey, let's go. The question of the day. The question of the day. Bailey has a question for you. The question of the day. Nice. Okay. Now, if you listen to Bailey's name, it starts with the B. Bailey. What does it end with? What's the last sound you hear in Bailey? What is it? Bailey. E. That's right. The last sound in Bailey's name is E. Bailey. What's the last sound in my name? Miss Erin. Miss Erin. N. N. The last sound in my name is N. So Bailey was wondering, what's the last sound in your name? I want you to say your name to yourself and I want you to listen for the last sound that you hear in your name and then tell us your last sound. Great job. Thank you for answering our question of the day. All right, Bailey, should we tell them what we're learning about today in story time? I think so. I'm going to put Bailey down and I'm going to get out something else. Do you remember what it is? A, B, C's and one, two, threes. What's in my basket? What can it be? This is my basket that's gonna have clues. It's going to tell us what we're gonna be learning about today in story time. So let's see what our clues are today. Hmm. Our first clue is a very small animal that is red with black dots. It has six legs and two antennae. Do you know what it is? That's right, it's a ladybug. Our first clue for what we're learning about today is a ladybug. Okay, so we have ladybug. Our next clue is another animal. This animal is bigger than a ladybug. It can be many different colors, but this one happens to be black and orange. It also has two antennae and this one can fly. Do you wanna guess what it is? It is a butterfly, that's right, a butterfly. Okay, so that's our second clue for today. Now, we know that ladybugs and butterflies are a certain type of animal. And the type of animal that they are starts with the sound if. I. And I is represented by the letter I. 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 What type of animal are butterflies and ladybugs that starts with I? 
That's right, you got it. Insects. Butterflies and ladybugs are insects. And we're going to be learning about insects today. I, insects. Nice job. So let me put my butterfly and my ladybug down and let me show you this letter I. I represents the sound I. When we hear a word that has I, that is the letter I. Now let's look at how we write the letter I. For our capital I, we are gonna start with the long line that goes straight up and down. It starts at the top of our paper, goes to the bottom of our paper. And then we are going to make the line across the top and a line across the bottom. Those are smaller lines. So big line, little line, little line. Let's try to do that with our whole arm. I want you to put your whole arm out, two fingers pointing at me. Ready? Straight line down, little line, little line. Let's try it one more time. Straight line down, little line, little line. Awesome. So this is our uppercase I. It's also called a capital I. But this little guy right here, he's our lowercase I. Lowercase I is formed by making our straight line up and down. See, he's a small line. He's not so big. But then look, we have a dot on the top of him. So we just have a line and then we have a dot on top. So we're gonna do that with our arm straight out, point at Miss Erin. We're gonna do a little line and a dot. And try that one more time. Little line and a dot. And that's how we form the lowercase letter I. I, I. Now the word that I like to remember when I'm learning the I sound is this guy right here. Can you see him? He is an inchworm, inchworm. Now to sign inchworm, we're gonna put a hand out and pretend like it's the dirt. And we're gonna take our finger on our other hand. He's the little inchworm. And he's just gonna crawl through our dirt. Can you show me your inchworm crawling through the dirt? Nice job. So if I say, I, I, I want you to show me your inchworm. I, I, inchworm. One of the things I love to do when I'm learning about letters and words is to play with the sounds in those words. So I can play with the big parts of the sounds in words. Those are called syllables. And I can also play with the little teeny tiny sounds in words. Those are called phonemes, the individual sounds. So today we're gonna play lots of games with our I words. Now the first question I have for you is, how many syllables are in the word insect. Syllables are those big parts of the words. And we can figure this out by clapping for every big part of the word we hear. Insect. Insect. How many times did I clap? Let's try it one more time. Insect. That's right. I clapped two times. There are two syllables in the word insect. I can also try a different way to hear the syllables by putting my hands underneath my chin. And when I say a word, my chin is gonna go down toward my hand every time there's a syllable. So let's try ladybug, since we're learning about ladybugs today. Put your hands underneath your chin. Say it with me, ladybug. How many times did you feel your chin go down onto your hands? Ladybug. Three times. That's right. There are three syllables in the word ladybug. Let's try one more. You can either clap or put your hands under your chin. It's your choice. But the word is butterfly. That's the other insect that was in our basket. Butterfly. How many syllables? I'm going to clap it. Butterfly. Three syllables. Now I'm going to use my chin just to double check. Butterfly. Yep, it went down three times. Three syllables in the word butterfly. Now that I know that the I sound is represented by the letter I, I want to think about other words that begin with the I sound. Can you think of another word besides inchworm that begins with I? 
I can think of a few. I can think of in, inside, insect, into, itchy, and injured. All of those words begin with I. I can hear the I sound at the very beginning of the word. Okay, so here's your first game with I. I'm gonna say two words. When you hear the word that starts with I, I want you to show me your inchworm. Are you ready? Okay. Bed, insect. Hmm, which one begins with I? Bed, insect. You're right, insect. I hope you were showing me your inchworm. All right, our next one, we have van, injured. Van, injured. Which one begins with I? That's right, injured. I hope you were showing me your inchworm. Injured. Now for our next game, I want you to listen to see where you hear the I sound in this word. We have lots of words that begin with I. And if we hear one of those, we're gonna to touch our head, just like inchworm. But sometimes we can have the I sound in the middle of the word. And if we hear it in the middle of the word, in between two different sounds, it's in the middle, we're gonna to touch our bellies, okay? Okay. Your first word is insect. Insect. Is it at the beginning or the middle of the word insect? That's right, it's at the beginning. That's what we're learning about today. Okay, here's your next word. You ready? Mix. Mix. Hmm. Does mix start with I? Hmm. Let me separate those sounds. M, I, X. It doesn't start with I. It starts with M, mm. M, mm, I. It's in the middle. So you have to touch your belly. Get your belly because I is in the middle of the word mix. Now I'm going to show you our whole animal alphabet chart so you can see all of the letters of the alphabet. And I want you to notice something about the letter I. Can you see it there? What color is the letter I on this chart? That's right, it's red. But most of the letters are what color? I see a lot of letters that are, that's right, black. So, hmm, let's look at the red letters and see what they have in common. I see A, E, I, O, U. Do you know why those letters are written in red on this animal alphabet chart? Can you shout it out? That's right. Those letters are vowels. Vowels are special letters in our alphabet and that's why I made them red. A, E, I, O, U. I like to remember the vowels with a song. It goes like this. A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. We are the vowels. That's right. I is one of the vowels. Vowels are really important because every single word needs at least one vowel sound. That's what helps us to speak more clearly when we have our vowels. Vowel sounds can just keep going on and on. There's nothing blocking them in our mouth when we make the sounds. I, I, I is the sound for I and there's nothing in my mouth blocking the I sound from coming out. Now, I is a sound that's in the middle of a lot of words. And I think, think of words that rhyme that have I in the middle of those words. So for example, if I said bib, can you think of a rhyming word with bib? Yeah, great job. I came up with 
fib. Bib, fib. Should we sing our rhyming song? Because those words rhyme. Bib, fib, these words rhyme. Bib, fib, these words rhyme. Bib, fib, these words rhyme. They sound the same at the end. Nice job. Now the last game I have for you before we sing our first song is our mystery word game. I am going to say the sounds in a word and I'll give you a hint. They have the I sound in the middle and you're going to tell me what word I'm saying. So I say it slow like a turtle and you're going to brush the sounds together and say it fast, just like a rabbit going super fast. Are you ready? All right, here's your first one. B, I, G. Did you hear that I in the middle? B, I, G. What's the mystery word? Let's put it together faster. B, I, G. B, I, G. B, I, G. Big. Did you say it fast like a rabbit? Your word is big. Nice job. Okay, let's try another one. It's going to have I in the middle. I, t. Did you hear the I? I, t. What's my word? Say it faster. It, 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 fit, fit. I take the sounds together and I go fast, fit. My mystery word is fit. Way to go. The first insect that we're going to be learning about today is our ladybug. There she is. Now to sign ladybug, we are going to sign the two words that make up ladybug. The first word is lady. So I want you to take your big five hand and you're gonna take your thumb and put it on your chin and then you're gonna move it down to your chest. Lady, lady. Now the second part of the ladybug's name is bug. So we're gonna take our thumb and our pointer and our middle finger up and we're gonna keep these two fingers down Put your thumb on your nose, and then I want these two fingers that are up high, I want them to bend two times. Bug. Isn't that silly? Like a bug is on your nose. Bug. So we put it together to sign the word ladybug, lady bug. Can you show me that one more time? Lady bug. Awesome. Now I have a song all about ladybugs. And this song has a lot of movement. So if you're able to, I want you to stand up so that you can move around while I sing this song. You ready? Here we go. Crouch down low and crawl around, crawl around, crawl around. Crouch down low and crawl around, just like a ladybug. Flap your wings and fly around, fly around, fly around. Flap your wings and fly around, just like a ladybug. Land on a tree and nibble a leaf, nibble a leaf, nibble a leaf. Land on a tree and nibble a leaf, just like a ladybug. Close your eyes and take a nap, take a nap, take a nap. Close your eyes and take a nap, just like a ladybug. Nice job, friends. I hope you were able to move around during that song and I hope you got quiet at the end since our ladybug is sleeping. Shh. Awesome. Now it's time for us to read a story all about ladybugs. This is one of my favorite stories because not only is it about ladybugs, but it also is about counting, which is super fun. Now, before we read stories in story time, we always sing a song and it goes like this. This part of the book's called the front cover. This part of the book's called the spine cover. This part of the book's called the back cover. And this book has no title page. This book doesn't have a title page. The title of this story is on the front cover. This story is called 10 Little Ladybugs. Can you see them there? Should we count them to make sure? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, good. There are 10 little ladybugs in this story. 
Now the author, that's the person who wrote the words. The story's author is Melanie Gerth. The illustrator, that's the person who drew all of these pictures. The illustrator is Laura Holsika Faith. You ready? Here we go. 10. Little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along came a butterfly. Then there were... 9. Little ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar. Then there were... Eight little ladybugs looking up at heaven. Along came a bird. Then there were... Seven little ladybugs resting on sticks. Along came a grasshopper. Then there were... Six little ladybugs flying near a hive. Along came a bumblebee. Then there were... Five little ladybugs sleeping by the shore. Along came a fish. Then there were four little ladybugs climbing up a tree. Along came a turtle. Then there were three little ladybugs drinking up dew. Along came a duck. Then there were two little ladybugs basking in the sun. Along came a frog. Then there was... One little ladybug sitting all alone. Along came a breeze. Then she was home. Great listening, friends. I'm so proud of you. Now, while we were reading, I had a friend come and visit me. And her name is Lily Ladybug. Can you say hi to Lily? Lily wanted to come for our next rhyme to help us with it. Are you ready? I want you to follow along with Lily. Ladybug, ladybug, fly out of your bed and land right there on my teeny tiny head. Did you notice that bed rhymes with head? Okay, we're going to do another one. Let's see if you can guess where Lily is going to land based on the rhyming word. Ladybug, ladybug, fly out of the sky and land right there on my teeny tiny I. That's right. Sky rhymes with I. All right, let's try another one. Ladybug, ladybug, fly out of the rose and land right there on my teeny tiny nose. That's right. Rose rhymes with nose. Lily's on my nose. Ladybug, ladybug, fly out of the farm and land right there on my teeny tiny arm. That's right, farm rhymes with arm. And there she is, she's on my arm. Ladybug, ladybug, fly out of the tree and land right there on my teeny tiny knee. She's down here on my knee. Good job, Lily. Knee rhymes with tree. Awesome job. So now that we've learned all about our ladybugs, it's time to learn about our next insect. Do you remember the other insect that was in my basket? Hmm, I had started with a ladybug, but I also had a butterfly. That's right. Now it's time to learn about butterflies. To sign butterfly, we're gonna take our two hands and I want you to face them towards you so that you can see your palms. And then I want you to cross them over. See how it looks like an X? Cross them over to make an X. And I want you to hook your thumbs together. Can you see that? So I cross my arms and now my thumbs are hooked together. What do you think this looks like? You're right, it looks like a butterfly. Let's flap our butterfly's wings and let's fly our butterfly around. This is the sign for butterfly. Perfect. Now we are going to sing all about butterflies today. And in order to do that, I'm gonna need your help learning about the life cycle of a butterfly. Because when a butterfly is born, a butterfly does not come out looking like this. No, no. A butterfly actually comes out as an egg. Do you see that? A butterfly starts as an egg 
And then once it hatches, it turns into a caterpillar. That's right. Have you ever seen a caterpillar before? We just had some caterpillars at my house recently. After the caterpillars eat a lot of food and they get bigger and bigger, they're ready to turn into something new. Do you know what it's called? That's right, it's called a chrysalis and it looks like this. It hangs from a branch or from the top of somewhere and they turn into a chrysalis. Now when the caterpillar is inside the chrysalis, it's changing a lot because when it emerges, that means when it comes out, it's not going to be a chrysalis anymore. It is now a beautiful butterfly. So let's sing a song all about the life cycle of a butterfly. First comes a butterfly who lays an egg. Out pops a caterpillar with six legs. Oh, see the caterpillar eat and then he forms a chrysalis to sleep in. Oh, 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 wait and see. Oh, 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 what can he be? Out from the chrysalis, my oh my, I see a beautiful butterfly. Great singing! Talked all about the life cycle of our butterfly. All right, you ready for our first story? It is one of my absolute favorite stories to read about caterpillars and butterflies. Now, I'm wondering if you've read this story before. You might have. This story is about a caterpillar who wants to eat a lot, a lot of food. Do you know what story I'm talking about? Maybe you do? That's right, we're gonna read this story, but before we do, let's sing our song. This part of the book's called the front cover. This part of the book's called the spine cover. This part of the book's called the back cover. And this part's called the title page. The title of this story is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The author, the person who wrote the words of this story is Eric Carl. The illustrator, the person who drew the pictures of this story is also Eric Carl. So he wrote the words and drew the pictures. Are you ready to read? All right, here we go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. 
Great listening, friends. That is one of my favorite stories. I hope you enjoyed it too. So now it's time to sing another song about our caterpillars and butterflies. And this time we're gonna be counting. So I'm gonna need to see your counting hand. You ready? We are gonna start by counting to five. Show me. One, two, three, four, five. That's right, I have five fingers up because we're gonna be singing about five caterpillars. You ready? Here we go. Five green and small and fat caterpillars on a branch eating delicious yummy greens. Yum, yum. One got too big to move, formed a chrysalis so soon. Now there are four green caterpillars. Let's double check. Do we have four? One, two, three, four. We do. Now let's sing about four. Four green and small and fat caterpillars on a branch eating delicious yummy greens. Yum, yum. One got too big to move, formed a chrysalis so soon. Now there are three green caterpillars. Do we have three? Let's check. One, two, three. Yes, we do. Let's sing it again. Three green and small and fat caterpillars on a branch eating delicious yummy greens. Yum, yum. One got too big to move, formed a chrysalis so soon. Now there are two green caterpillars. Do we have two? One, two. Yes, we do. Sing again. Two green and small and fat caterpillars on a branch eating delicious yummy greens. Yum, yum. One got too big to move, formed a chrysalis so soon. Now there is one green caterpillar. Just one little guy by himself. Let's see what happens. One green and small and fat caterpillar on a branch eating delicious yummy greens. Yum, yum. He got too big to move, formed a chrysalis so soon. Now there are no green caterpillars. We're at zero, no caterpillars. But wait, what's that? What's opening up? The chrysalises are opening up. Now what do you think we're going to see? Five black and orange and white butterflies fly through the sky enjoying the sunny spring day. Yay, yay. They changed a lot this spring. Now they have such beautiful wings. They are no longer caterpillars. Great job. It's time for our last butterfly activity today. But for this one, we need two butterflies. Do you have two butterflies at home? That's okay. I don't have two butterflies at home either, but I do have my fingers that I'm going to use for this. I'm gonna have one butterfly here and one butterfly here. And now I have my two butterflies. Can you show me your two butterflies? Okay, now let's sing about these two butterflies. Here we go. Two little butterflies sitting on a hill, one named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Great job. Did your butterflies come back? I hope so. We got to get ready for another one. Two little butterflies sitting on a cloud, one named Quiet and the other named Loud. Fly away, Quiet. Fly away, Loud. Come back loud. Did they come back? I hope so. Let's do another one. Two little butterflies sitting on a stick. One named slow and one named quick. Fly away slow. Fly away quick. Come back slow. Come back quick. Good job. Did quick come back super fast? I bet he did. Well, my friends, you have done such an amazing job learning all about our ladybugs and our butterflies, our insects, if insects, and I am so proud of you. Now, before we end story time, I love to practice all of our letters and sounds with our animal alphabet. 
If you would like a copy of the cards we use to practice the animal alphabet, you can ask your grown-up to go to littleslovelearning.com where they can download these cards for free and you can practice them. If you want to learn the animal alphabet chant, I do have two other videos you can watch. One of the videos shows you the chant with the cards and one of the videos shows you the chant using signs. So each animal has an action that goes along with it to help you learn your alphabet. So ask your grown up if you can watch those videos so you can learn all about our animal alphabet. But right now we're gonna practice it together. We're going to say the name of the letter, the sound that the letter represents, and the name of the animal. Okay, here we go. A, A, alligator, B, B, bear. C, k, cat. D, d, dog. E, e, elephant. F, f, fish. G, g, gorilla. H, h, horse. I, i, inchworm. J, j, jellyfish. K, k, kangaroo. L, u, lion. M, M mouse N M narwhal O A octopus P P penguin Q Q quail R R rabbit S S snake T T tiger U A umbrella bird V V vulture W, w walrus X, x fox Y y yak Z, z zebra and that's the alphabet awesome we have a few more cards to practice these are our digraphs when two letters make one sound C H ch, chicken S H Sh shark. W H w whale. T H th this. T H th sloth. Way to go. Now let's call out Bailey so we can say goodbye to him before we sing our goodbye song. You ready? Show me your B, your B Bailey. Bailey, Bailey, our class is at the end. It's time to wave goodbye to all our friends. Here he comes. All right, Bailey, say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye, friends. Bailey, we'll see you next time in story time. He'll have another question of the day for you. Right, Bailey? And right now, let's sing our goodbye song. If you'd like to learn the goodbye song, you can watch the other video that I have all about the goodbye song and the signs we use. I'll link that down below in the description box. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. See you soon. It was nice to have you here with me today. Goodbye, friends. See you soon. I'm so glad you came to learn and play. Thank you so much for coming to learn and play with me today. Until next time, happy learning. Bye, friends.